Songwriter said the road is rough and the going gets tough and the hills are so hard to climb. But I started out a long time ago. Songwriter said there is no doubt in my mind that I've decided to make Jesus my choice. I've decided to make Jesus my choice because God was so good to that songwriter he said, I, I, I just made it up in my mind. There's a song we sung the other night. He's made a believer out of me. Whenever we needed him, he was right there. Whenever we called on him, he was right there. We've got friends that we can call on and we get their voicemail. Try and call on your brothers, get their voicemail. Sisters, voicemail. Call your parents, they surely gonna answer, voicemail. But there's one that you can call in the midnight hour and don't have to worry about getting a busy signal or a voicemail. And God has just been so good, church. You know, there's a song that says, Great is thy faithfulness, O oh God, my Father. There is no shadow of turning with thee. Thou changes not thy compassions they fail not. And as thou hast been, thou forever will be. That's good to know, church. Listen. Summer and winter, springtime and harvest, sun, moon, and Stars in their courses above join with all nature in great is our faithfulness Lord to me, great is thy faithfulness, great is thy faithfulness, morning by morning, new mercy I see, all that And you know what else? He's given pardon for all my sins and a peace that endureth. Thine own dear presence to cheer and to guide. Strength for two. hope for tomorrow I like this next part blessings of mine 
with 10,000 besides. church. Y'all can help us praise God's name. Everyone sing it together. Great is thy faithfulness. Stand to your feet, church. Great is thy faithfulness. And all I have needed, thy hand says, provided, as thou hast been, as thou hast been, thou forever will be. Great is thy faithfulness. Give God a hand. During the summertime, he's still God. Winter, he's still God. Harvest time, he's still God. Raining, pouring outside, he's still God. And as I said, as thou hast been, thou forever will be. You see, there's no change with God. Man changes. The arms of flesh, they'll fail you every day. But the good news is, as God has been yesterday, he's going to be that same God tomorrow. Let us bow our heads. Dear Heavenly Father, as we so humbly approach your holy throne of grace, O oh God, Father, thanking you, thanking you, thanking you, thanking you, O oh God, for all that you have done for all that you are doing, and oh God, for all that you have plans to do. Father, you are a magnificent God. Beside thee, there is none other. Father, we thank you for thinking so much of us, oh God, that you took time out and you woke us up this morning and started us on this way, oh God. For that, we can say thank you. Father, you put a roof over our head and you put clothing on our back. We can say thank you for that, oh God. Father, we thank you, oh God, for your blessings, great and small, for being better to us than we've been to our own selves. Father, we thank you for this another series of 10 days of fasting and prayer, O oh God. Father, we thank you, O oh God, for being weak today, but Lord, we know that when we are weak, then are we made strong in thee, O oh God. Father, we pray that you might remember those who had a mind to make it out tonight but couldn't. Remember Deacon Kirby, O oh God, as he lays on his bed of affliction right now. Father, give him the faith to step forward, O oh God. Father, faith and works. Faith is no good, O oh God, Father, without the works, O oh God. So, Father, we know as he has the faith, Father, give him the mind to step one foot forward. And we know, O oh God, that you will take the second step for him, O oh God, and touch his body. Father, we pray that you might remember our loved ones, O oh God, the saved as well as the unsaved, O oh God. Father, the saved as well as the unsaved, O oh God. Father, we pray that you might allow the saved to stay saved. Strengthen them, O oh God. Father, we're praying for the unsaved, O oh God, that you might reach down touch their minds, O oh God. Father, open their eyes that they might be able to see the direction in which they're headed and then turn to thee, O oh God. Father, we pray that you might remember your word. 
as it goes forth, O oh God. Father, that it might go from breast to breast, that it might go from heart to heart, that it might go from the east coast all the way to the west coast, O oh God, to the end that you, O oh God, might be the one that gets all of the glory, that you, O oh God, might be the one that gets all of the honor, and that you, O oh God, might be the one that gets all of the praise in our lives. Father, this is our desire, this is our prayer at this hour, and we will be very careful not to forget to give thy name and praise. Amen. Amen. We say unto you all, good evening, and may God bless you all. Thank God truly for his love, his tender mercies, and his kindness. Thank God truly for his faithfulness. Lord unto me. Thank God truly for his blessings, great and small, for thinking so much of mankind that he took time out and he woke us up this morning and started us on this way. Thank God truly for his only begotten son, Jesus, whom he sent down to die for our sins. One day on that cruel cross of Calvary, he didn't have to do it, but oh, what love Jesus brought to me. Oh, what joy that mine eyes have seen. What love, abundant love, that only comes from up above, that's due to his death on Calvary. Thank God truly for the founders of this church, Elder and Sister Lightfoot Solomon Mishaw. Thank God truly for their, the standards of righteousness that they instituted, that God gave them. Thank God truly for our present leadership, Elder Howard, and the pastor that he is unto the flock, giving honor to the First Lady, to the deacons that are assembled, as well as the deacon that is absent, giving honor to him as well, giving honor to all the saints of the Most High. We say unto you all, good evening, and may God bless you all. Thank God truly for the wife that he's blessed me with. I thank God truly for our children, for the jobs he's blessed us with, for transportation back and forth to the jobs. Truly he that is mighty had done to us great things, and holy is his name. Thanking God truly for this another series of 10 days of fasting and prayer. Thank God truly for um, all things great and small. Truly, he's just been an awesome God, and I, I can't complain one bit. And I thank God truly for that. Thank God truly for the theme of the fast, rolling over your own spirit. Well, well, thank God truly for all that the Lord has given unto us up until this very minute. And thanking God in advance for what he's going to give unto us the rest of the nights. Surely God is great and greatly to be praised. Church, I'm going to talk a little bit tonight about honor. Deacon, if you'd be so kind. We're going to talk about honor. <clears throat> honor is, as being defined by the Webster Dictionary, Honor is high regard. Honor is also to treat with respect. And I like this next one. Honor is also adherence to right principles. Honor is high regard. It is treat to treat with respect. And it is adherence to right principles. Deacon, if you'd be so kind, congregation, turn with me to Proverbs, the 28th chapter. Excuse me, 25th chapter. Thank you. Yes, everyone got it memorized now. <laughs> Thank you, church. One, one. Proverbs 25th chapter. Mm -hmm. Begin right there at the 28th verse. It says what? He that hath no rule over his own spirit. He that hath no rule over his own spirit is what? Is like a city that is broken down. Is like a city that is broken down and what? And without walls. You see, church, rule is a set guide for conduct. 
And when you follow the rule, you obtain honor. When you follow the rule, you obtain honor. When you don't follow the rule, there's dishonor. God is all about honor. All right. Amen. Yeah. Next chapter, next verse says what? As snow in summer. As snow in summer and what? And as rain in harvest. And as rain in harvest. So what? So honor is not seemly for a fool. You see, church, it's not proper to give honor to a fool. Because as the word teaches us, a fool has said in his heart mm -hmm. in a that there is no what? No God. A fool hath said in his heart that there is no God. Mm. Now, how can you honor one that has said there is no That's God? True. That's true. Knowing that we, in him we live. That's right. In him we move. Yeah. That's in him we have our being. Yes. He created us from the dust of the earth and he breathed the breath of life into man's nostrils and we became a living soul. Exodus, 20th chapter. <clears throat> How many of you all, by show of hands, can say that you love your mother and your father? Mm -hmm. Amen? Exodus 20th chapter, if you have it, say amen. Amen. 12th verse, beginning, says what? Honor thy father mm -hmm. and thy mother. Uh-huh. That thy days may be long upon the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee. Church, if you want to show that you love your mother and that you love your father, then keep God's commandments. God right. said to honor, mm -hmm. go back and read it, Deacon. We, we skipped that, the first verse. Mm -hmm. The first verse of the chapter says what? And God spake all these words. And God spake all these words. Saying? Yeah. Minister David didn't say it. All right. Deacon Keith didn't say it. These are the words oh. of God. Mm -hmm. yeah. God said in the 12th verse to honor thy father mm -hmm. and... Did it say just one of the two? No. And thy mother. Honor thy father and thy mother. That's right. And he said he would give you something if you do that. And what did he say? That thy days may be long. That thy days may be long. That's what? it. Upon the land. Upon the land. Which the Lord thy God giveth thee. Which the Lord thy God giveth thee. St. Matthews. Honor thy father and thy mother. St. Matthew's 15th chapter. Talking about honor mm -hmm. today, church. Honor is high regard. It is to treat with respect. And it That's is it. adherence to right principles. Right principles. That's what the dictionary say. Right. It didn't say principles. It said right principles. Mm -hmm. Amen? All right. St. Matthew's 15th chapter. First verse says what? Then came to Jesus scribes and Pharisees. Then came to Jesus scribes and Pharisees, which were of which Jerusalem, were of, mm -hmm. saying, what? Why do thy disciples transgress the Why tradition of the elders? Your disciples transgressing the tradition of the elders, for they do what? For they wash not their hands when they eat bread. Why is your disciples, this is what they were doing. Why is your disciples, remember we talked about that earlier? pointing one finger, and then they got three pointing back mm. at themselves. There it is. <laughs> Be careful, church, when you point one That's finger right. at your brother. That's right. 
Scripture mm -hmm. talks about taking the mope yeah. out of the eye. Mm -hmm. So quick to point your finger at somebody else, but yet you got so many other things that you need to correct and get straight yes. with yes. God. That's it. Mm -hmm. But the Pharisees, scribes and Pharisees, as they often do, pointing their fingers. Why are mm -hmm. your disciples transgressing? Yeah. Why are they not following the mm -hmm. tradition of the elders? Third verse said what? But he answered and said unto them. But he answered and said unto them what? Why do ye also transgress? Why are you also? Lord had given me that thought some time ago. Before one corrects, they must first be corrected. They need to make sure yeah. that they are straight All right. with God before they try and mm -hmm. do some corrections. All right, now. That's why teachers go to school, so that they can learn. Yeah, that's they, it. Can, they don't just stick teachers right inside of the classroom and say, teach the class. Mm -hmm. No, you got to go get education. Yeah. You got to make right. sure that you got your things straight before you can stand and teach the youth. Mm-hmm. He said, why do you also transgress the commandment of God by your tradition? For God commanded, saying what? Honor thy father and mother. Honor thy father and thy mother. Honor thy father mm -hmm. and mother. And what? And he that curseth father or mother, mm -hmm. let him die the death. Let him do what? Die the death. You see, church, God commanded us to honor to respect, yes. to adhere, yes. to the right, to mm. the right principles. Mm. Because All there's right. some parents out here that isn't giving you the right principles by the actions that they do. All right. But adhere to the right principles. We got somebody in the midst, Deacon Oki. Deacon Oki said his mother or grandmother, mother told him, go to Washington, D.C. and do what? Find a, find a church, a good church, and stay there. That's right. And Deacon, Zoki, Deacon Oki's testimony is, I'm still there. Still a member of the church of God. And a good church. <clears throat> mm -hmm. A good church. Mm -hmm. You see, but if he didn't honor his mother, he would have went out there, got into every little bit of trouble. Mm. Ain't that, something? that he could find and they could find him. But he honored his mother. Yeah. He listened to the words of his mother. Yeah. And today, yeah. he's yeah. blessed. Mm -hmm. It said, honor thy father and mother, and he that curseth father or mother, let him do what? Die the death. That's, it. That's what my Bible says. Let him die the death. Fifth verse says what? But ye say, uh -huh. whosoever shall say to his father or his mother, mm -hmm. it is a gift by whatsoever thou mightest be profited by me. Uh -huh. And honor not his father or his mother, he uh -huh. shall be free. Thus have you made the commandment of God of none effect by your tradition. There are some that, although they may not say it, but they think in their heart that, Mom, I'm doing you a favor mm. Mm. by taking out the trash. Dad, I'm doing you a favor by cutting the grass. Mm. <laughs> you are profiting for me. It said, and honor not his father or his mother, he shall be free. Thus have ye made the commandment of God of none effect. Mm. Mr. Mack and Mrs. <clears throat> Sally is mm. telling you, you ain't got to obey your parents. Come on over and meet me later. Just sneak out the side door. Mm. Come on now. You ain't got to honor what they say. Just meet me down the street. It's an honor thy yeah. father mm -hmm. and mother. It didn't say one or the other. It didn't say neither. It said, honor thy father and thy mother. And this is what Jesus had to say. Seventh verse said what? Ye hypocrites. Ye hypocrites, what? Well did Isaiah prophesy of you, saying, Uh-huh. 
This people draw off nine to me with their mouth. You see, church, it's easy for each and every one of us to say, mm -hmm. I love you, mom. I love you, dad. Yeah. But what? This people draw nigh to me with their mouth and mm -hmm. honor me with their lips. They draw nigh with their mouth and they honor me mm -hmm. with their lips. But what? But their heart is far from me. You see, I could easily say, Mom, I love you. Dad, I love you. Mm -hmm. yeah. But am I respecting them with my actions? Mm. Church, All right. you have to learn to let your heart Say what your lips speak. All right. Learn to let your heart and your actions do what your lips mm -hmm. say. All if right. you say you love your parents, show them by honoring them. Yeah, that's it. Amen? Yes. Amen. Read it again. It said, This people, this people, draw off nigh unto me with uh -huh. their mouth mm -hmm. and honor me with their lips. Uh huh. But their heart is far from me. But their heart is far from me. If you want to show your parents that you honor them, respect them. All right. Take heed to their doctrine. Go get it. Proverbs. Four. That knowledge and that understanding. Proverbs, fourth chapter. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if you have it, say amen. Amen. Proverbs, fourth chapter, and the first verse says what? Hear ye children. Hear ye children, what? The instruction of a father. And what? And attend to no understanding. You see, church, you have to have an ear to hear. Mm -hmm. Have an ear to hear. It said, hear ye children the instruction of a father. Mm -hmm. And it said, and attend to no understanding. That's right. If you don't understand, ask the question. Mm-hmm. Hey Amen. If you don't understand something, ask a question. All right. Lord says, you have not because you ask not. That's it. So if you want to understand, ask a question. Mm -hmm. It said, for I do what? For I give you good doctrine. I give you what kind of doctrine? Good doctrine. What? Forsake ye not my law. You know, church, when you have a saved mother and a saved father, they give you good doctrine. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. They give you good advice. Mm -hmm. For I give you good doctrine, forsake ye not my law. Third verse says what? For I was my father's son, uh -huh. tender and only beloved, uh -huh. in the sight of my mother. Mm -hmm. He taught me also. He taught me also and said what unto me? Let thine heart retain my words, uh -huh. keep my commandments and live. Keep my commandments and do what? And live. You see, church, a lot of times, we as younger people, we don't always listen to our parents mm -hmm. because we say, oh, they old fashioned. They don't know what's going on. All right, but now. they give us this advice to protect you. Yeah, wonderful. Some of the times they've even gone through some of the things, and because they've gone through it already, mm -hmm. they don't want you learning on your own. Learn from their mistakes. All right. They don't want you going through the same things yeah. that they may have gone through. Wonderful. There are some that didn't go through those things, but they got those good wisdom like Deacon Oki. Mm -hmm. He got that good wisdom, that good advice from his mother. Mm -hmm. Go find yourself a good church. Yeah. And stay yeah. there. That's right. Yeah. It said, keep my commandments. Keep my yeah. commandments and do what? And live. Keep my commandments, church. That's right. And live. Turn over to Jeremiah. Mm -hmm. 35th chapter. Honor. 
You want to honor your parents. They, they're giving you the wisdom. They're giving you the knowledge. They're giving you understanding. Mm -hmm. They're trying to teach you. Listen to them. And not only listen to them, if they're giving you that good advice, that sound doctrine, as it talks about, then take heed to it. Follow it. Amen? Yes. Honor is high regard to treat with respect, adherence to right principles. You know, in the line of work that I'm in, I see a lot of kids just talking to their parents any kind of way. Yes. It's and it, and it, it hurts. It hurts to see that. It honestly hurts. And then you get somebody coming right behind them and saying, oh, that's so cute. There's nothing cute about that, church. That's right. Amen. Show respect unto your parents. Amen. That's it. Jeremiah 35. Begin at the first verse. It says what? The word which came unto Jeremiah from uh -huh. the Lord in the days of Jehoiakim, uh -huh. the son of Josiah, king of Judah, saying, Saying what? Go unto the house of the Re uh -huh. and speak unto them, uh -huh. and bring them into the house of the Lord, uh -huh. into one of the chambers, and give them wine to I drink. I want you to go and gather all the Rechabites and bring them into my house. Mm -hmm. That's what the Lord is saying. Bring mm -hmm. them into my house. And what? Then I did what? Then I took Jezaniah, uh -huh. the son of Jeremiah, mm -hmm. the son of Habazina, mm -hmm. and his brethren, and? and all his sons, mm -hmm. and the whole house of the Rechabites. And I brought them where? And I brought them into the house of the Lord, uh -huh. to the chamber of the sons of Hanan, mm -hmm. the son of Igdaliah, a man of God, mm -hmm. which was by the chamber of the princes, which was above the chamber of Messiah, the son of Shalom, the keeper of the door. And I said, and I set before the sons of the house of the Rechabites, what? Pots full of wine. Pots full of wine. That's it. And cups. And I said unto them what? Drink ye wine. I set wine in front of them. <laughs> Every single one of them. Mm -hmm. Inside of the cups. And said, drink ye wine. Mm -hmm. Drink ye wine. Six verse says what? But. But. They said. But they say it. We will drink no wine. We will drink no wine. For what? For Jonadab, the son of Rechab, uh -huh. our father commanded us, saying, uh -huh. you shall drink no wine. Neither. Ye. Uh -huh. Nor your sons. Nor your sons. Forever. For how long? Forever. For how long? <laughs> Forever. Amen. That's it. You shall drink no wine. Mm -hmm. Forever. That's right. You nor Forever. your sons. Neither shall you do what? Neither shall you build house, uh -huh. nor sow seed, mm -hmm. nor plant vineyard, mm -hmm. nor have any. Mm -hmm. But all your days you shall dwell in tents, that you may live many days in the land where ye be strangers. We're not going to drink any of this wine, because our father told us not to. He told us not to drink the wine. He mm -hmm. told us not to build the houses. And what our father told us not to do, we're going to respect that. All right. We're going to honor that. Amen? Yeah. Amen. Eighth verse says what? Thus have we obeyed the voice of Jonadab. Thus have we obeyed the voice of Jonadab, the son of Rechab, our father, and all, and all, yeah. and all, and all That's right. that he charged us to do. And what? To drink no wine. To drink no our, wine. All our days. All our days. We our wives, uh -huh. our sons, uh -huh. nor our daughters. Nor to do what? Nor to build houses for us to dwell in. Neither. Neither have we vineyard, nor field, nor seed. But? But we have dwelt in tents. We've dwelt in tents and have done what? Obeyed. We showed honor to our father by obeying what he told us to do and not to do. Yes, wonderful. 
The second they would have picked up that cup and drunk it, mm -hmm. they would have been dishonoring. That's it. And as we just read, as we just read, the one that does that will die the death. Mm. That's what Jesus said. Amen. But we've obeyed and done what? And done according to all that Jonadab, our father, we've done commanded us. According to all that he has commanded us. But it came to pass when Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, came up into the land that we said, come and let us do what? Go to Jerusalem uh -huh. for fear of the army of the Chaldeans mm -hmm. and for fear of the army of the Syrians. Mm -hmm. So we dwell at Jerusalem. Everything their father commanded them, he did it. Hold what you got. We're going to come back. I'm going to show you something, church. Turn to Psalms, the 75th chapter. While we're talking about this wine, the last thing that we want is from somebody to go from here and say, well, the Lord commanded them over there in Jeremiah, the 35th chapter, to drink wine. We don't want anyone going from here with the misconception. And I've heard people time in and time out Say, well, Jesus turned water to wine, so why is it so wrong with drinking wine? I'm going to show you what the Lord had to say. Psalm 75. Mm -hmm. Eighth verse says what? For in the hand of the Lord there is a cup. For in the hand cup. of the Lord there is a cup. And what's in that cup? And the wine is red. And what is red? The wine is red. Now, in the hand of the Lord, there is a cup, and the wine is red. And what else? It is full of mixture. It's full of mixture. And what happens? And he poureth out of the same. And he did what? And he poureth out Say of the same. Say it again, Nick. And he poureth out of the same. In the hand of the Lord, there's a cup, and it's got wine in it. And what did the Lord do with that cup, Deacon? And he poured out. He poured out that wine. Mm -hmm. Amen? He poured it out. And what happened? Poured out of the same. Uh-huh. For the dregs thereof, uh -huh. all the wicked of the earth shall wring them out and drink them. In the hand of the Lord, there's a cup, church. And what did the Lord do with that cup of wine? I can't hear you, church. Poured it out. He poured it out. And who drunk that wine, church? The righteous? Mm -mm. The who? The wicked. Y'all see it, church? Everyone mm -hmm. see it? Read it again, Deacon. Yeah, for in the hand of the Lord there's a cup. For the hand of the Lord there's a cup. And inside of that cup, what is it? And the wine is red. The wine is red. It and is what? It's full of mixture. It's full of mixture. And he poureth out of the same. And he poureth out of that same. All right. And what? But, but the dregs thereof. The dregs thereof. What's left inside of the cup. Hmm. What's left inside of the cup. That's what the dregs are. The rudiments. Everything else is still inside of the cup. What did it say? All the wicked of the earth. All the wicked of the earth. The wicked of the earth did what? Mm -hmm. Shall ring them out. Ring it out. And drink them. It didn't say nothing about the righteous drinking right. wine, church. That's it. Now, if you call yourself one of God, if you want to respect God, All right. then you would do the same when someone offers you a glass of wine. Amen. Don't say, well, I got to respect them. I'm at their wedding. I got to go ahead and drink the wine. <laughs> mm. In the hand of the Lord, there is a cup. And it's got red wine. It's full of mixture. And the Lord poured it out. Mm -hmm. Everyone see that? Amen? Yes, sir. And it said... But the dregs thereof, all the wicked of the earth. Mm -hmm. Now, church, I'm not saying this. The Bible is saying this. Mm -hmm. 
If you drink and wine, guess who you are? Wicked. Is the wicked making it into heaven, Pastor? Mm. Is the wicked making it into heaven, church? So keep your hands off the wine. Amen? Yes. Amen? Mm -hmm. Go back over. Yes. Amen. Jeremiah 35. Now that we got that straight. Lord showed me that. Just the other night. People always saying, well, Jesus turned water to rhyme. Why can't I drink it? In the hand of the Lord, there's a cup. It's got red wine in it, full of mixture. Lord poured out of the same. And the ones that were drinking it, the ones that were licking it up, the dregs, what was left inside of that cup. Those are the wicked. Mm -hmm. Those ain't people of God. All right. Amen. Amen. Twelfth verse, Jeremiah 35, 12, says what? Then came the word of the Lord unto Jeremiah. Then came saying, the word of the Lord unto Jeremiah, saying, Thus saith the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, go and do what? Tell the men of Judah. Tell the men of Judah. And the inhabitants of Jerusalem. Uh-huh. Will you not receive instruction to hearken to my words? Will you not receive instruction to hearken unto what? Unto my word, to my words. Saith who? The Lord. Will you not receive instructions? And what? The words of Jonadab, the son of Rechab, mm -hmm. that, he, that he commanded his sons not mm -hmm. to drink wine mm -hmm. and perform. And they what? Perform. Are performed. And are performed what? For unto this day they uh -huh. drink none. And what? But obey their father's commandment. Uh -huh. Notwithstanding I have spoken unto you, Rising early and speaking, but ye hearken not unto me. You see, church, the instructions the father gave to his sons are performed. Mm -hmm. But church, leave here tonight with this. God wants you to honor your parents, but furthermore, he wants you to honor him. That's it. Amen. He wants you to honor him. He said, I have spoken unto you rising early. He wanted to prove a point to them. Mm. That just how they mm -hmm. were honoring their father. That's it. That's it. Which is on earth. Make sure you honor your father, which is in heaven. That's it. Honor your father and your mother, church. Leave here tonight with this. Honor your father and your mother. Yeah. But furthermore... Make sure that you honor God. Yes. Turn That's to it. Jeremiah. Flip forward. Jeremiah. Uh, backwards. Excuse me. Forward. Jeremiah 36. Mm -hmm. You know, I had asked you, church, the first night of the fast, as we were reading over there in the New Testament, to pray that the Lord will allow me to speak boldly. Y'all yes. remember me asking that, church? Speak right. boldly. And I've had things written down, and Lord, you can't, honestly, want me to go over this. Speak right. boldly. Mm -hmm. Speak boldly. This morning, allow me to be a little transparent with you all. This morning around 4 o'clock this morning, my sugar dropped. I, I knew that it, there was no way that it could drop. Around 4 o'clock in the morning, and I reached over to Sister Tulane. I said, I think my sugar's going low. So she went downstairs, got to meet her. I went downstairs, and as we're going downstairs, or when we get downstairs, I tell her, I said, There's, I really don't see no way that my sugar can go low. She fed me a snack last night. And I said, after you walked out the room, I got me some ice cream. I said, I, I, said, I don't think my sugar going low. I didn't get a lot of ice cream. I did what Elder Mishaw said. Elder Mishaw said, have a scoop of ice cream and get yourself right. a glass of water. And that's exactly what I did. I got one spoonful. It was a big spoon. I got one spoonful, got me some glass of water. Mm -hmm. 
So went downstairs, checked the sugar, and it was 52, and that's extremely low for those who know blood sugars. So <clears throat> I knew God woke me up for a reason. Mm -hmm. That's it. Sister Talandi, she fixed me a snack, and I said, well, I'm going to make sure I pay back the devil for this. So still with the mindset of being on one accord, I said, told the sister when she got home tonight, I said, I'm not going to eat at 4 o'clock. I'm going to wait until after church service to eat so that way I can fast the same amount of hours as the church. So I sat down and she was fixing the snack and the Lord took me to Jeremiah 36. Mm -hmm. And the past few days I've gotten a phone call here and there and got a phone call the other night from Brother Anthony and it was as I was finishing up my notes, as I was finishing up my sermon was just about to close the Bible, so I didn't answer the phone. And first thing comes to my mind, he's going to lay me out and say, Dave, I need to, need to calm down with your preaching. Don't be so harsh. Then the next day, same thing, finishing up my sermon. And as I'm finishing up my sermon, the pastor calls me. Didn't get his call because I'm finishing up my sermon. I said, well, the pastor's going to tell me I'm being a little bit too harsh. Maybe I shouldn't be doing this, saying this, saying that. And Brother Anthony, he had said, I want to thank you for the certificate that you gave me. I gave him a food certificate. Pastor called say, hey, this, the exit is closed off. Don't get off. So the devil's trying to get me to stop mm. saying what's on here. Keep on putting it inside of my mind. And as I went down as Sister Talandia is making the dish, my eyes fall right on verse 6. Mm -hmm. And what does it say? Remember now, church, we're talking about honor tonight. Verse 6 is what? Therefore, Therefore go, thou, go thou and read in the roll. And read in the roll. Which what? Which thou has written from my which mouth. Which thou has written from my mouth. Look at this, church. Mm -hmm. This is my role that That's I true. have written from God's mouth. That's and what does the, it say? The words of the Lord. The words of the Lord. In the ears of the people. In the ears of the people. Where? In the Lord's house. And whose house? In the Lord's house. This is the Lord's house, church. That's it. This is the Lord's house. And what does it say? Upon the fasting Upon day. Upon what day? The fasting day. Upon what day? The fasting day. That's You're it. talking about chills running down your back. Mm -hmm. Speak exactly what I've given you, what you That's have it. written down on the roll. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Speak it. There it is. And then to make it more precise, he said on what day? On the Upon the fasting day. He said, upon the fasting day. Yeah, right there. <laughs> upon the fasting day. Mm -hmm. What are we in, church? Fasting. The ten days of fasting and prayer. That's it. And what's it say? And also thou shalt read. And also the thou ears. shalt read them in the ears of all Judah that come out. From where? Of their cities. Of their cities. That's it. Read it to everyone. Mm-hmm. Everyone. That's it. Wonderful. And it said what? It may be. It may be. That they will, they will present they their will supplications. They will present their supplications what? Before the Lord. Before the Lord and do what? And will return everyone from his evil way. And will return everyone from his evil way. Yes. For what? For great is the anger and the fury that the Lord have pronounced against this people. For great, church, is the anger and the fury yeah, that's it. that the Lord hath pronounced against this people. All right. God has a way of getting your attention. Mm -hmm. Yes, he does. I'm like, Lord, why are you waking me up? And Yep, early in the morning. Four o'clock in the morning. I'm in a deep sleep, too. Mm -hmm. yep. 
Y'all yeah, know what it's like when you get in those deep sleep. Yeah. My wife was in a deep sleep too. Had it jerk her a few times. Thank the Lord she got up. <laughs> but my yeah. eyes fell right down on it. Remember now, we're talking about honor. Mm -hmm. Now, how can I say that I honor God if everything that is written inside here, I skip over a line or two and say, Lord, I'm not going to read that right there. I'll just go down to the next line. Hmm. All right. Therefore, go thou. My, my eyes landed, church, right on the mm -hmm. sixth verse. Yep. That's God. That's God. God is specific, church. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Therefore, go thou and read in the roll which thou hast written from my mouth. Mm, that's it. You can't get no more specific than that. Got that word. What did it say? The, word the words of, of the, the Lord. Lord. In the ears of the people in the Lord's house upon the fasting day. You heard me say it at Sunday school and you heard me say it the other night. The pastor and I preach the way that we do because we don't want your soul to be lost. That's it. Yes. We love each and every one of you all. Wonderful. Yes. We're not willing that any should perish. That's it. But that how many should come to repentance? All. Oh. But that all should come to repentance. Yes, we may sound harsh to you sometimes, mm -hmm. but it's all in love, church. Amen. It's all in love. Yes. Thank Saint you. John yes. five twenty five. Mm -hmm. Honor, church, honor. Mm -hmm. that's it. Honor your parents, and most of all, honor God. Yes, that's Exactly it. what God tells you to do, do it. Mm -hmm. Amen? Yes. Amen. St. John 5, 25 says what? Verily, verily, I say unto you, mm -hmm. the hour is coming, uh -huh. and now is. And now is. When the dead shall hear the voice of the Son of God, mm -hmm. and they that hear uh -huh. shall live. Church, the hour is come. The hour is come. Mm -hmm. When you are dishonoring your parents, when you're dishonoring God, you are dead. <laughs> Let me repeat that. When you are dishonoring your parents and you are dishonoring God, you're dead. All right. But he said, the hour is come and now is when the dead shall hear the voice of the Son of God. The moment you hear God's voice, yes. mm -hmm. as he said tonight, honor thy father and thy mother. Mm -hmm. If you haven't done it yesterday and all the days before that, start tonight. That's right, that's right. Start tonight. Yeah. God will leave the past in the past, but mm -hmm. start tonight. That's Amen? Right. Press towards the mark that's for right. the prize of yeah. the high calling, yes. which is in Christ Jesus. Amen. Verily, verily, I say unto you, read it one more time, Deacon. Verily, verily, I say unto you, uh -huh. the hour is coming, uh -huh. and now is. And now is. When the dead shall hear the voice of the Son of God, and, and they that hear, and they that hear, shall live. Church, I heard loud and clear this morning at 415. Yes. I say, Lord, say no more. Everything that you get me to write down inside of this roll, I said, I'm going to say it. That's it. I hear you loud and clear. Wonderful, wonderful. Amen. God's got a way yes. of getting your attention, church. That's it. God's That's got it. a way of getting your attention. Yes, he does. But when he gets your attention, do not ignore him. That's While it. the blood is running warm in your vein. Yes. Don't look yes. at your neighbor and say, they need to get saved first. All right now. While the blood is running warm in your vein, mm -hmm. get right with God. Amen? Yes. Thank That's you, congregation. Amen. Thank you, deacon. Turn the service back over to the deacon. Pray my strength and growth in the Lord that I might be nothing in myself but just what God might have me to be.